Way back in the woods Way back where I should go Way back where the knotted pine made a way What's going on everybody? Welcome back to Simple Outdoors. Today, I'm gonna do a little kayak fishing. It's a beautiful day, it's about 85 degrees Fahrenheit today. It's pretty, pretty warm. And I'm all ready to go. Check this out. And I have uh, about three and a half three and a half liters of uh, water and juice with me plus the uh, bottle and water filter just in case I need some more water so I'm gonna get my life vest on and we're gonna head out and see if we can catch some fish I haven't had any luck this year so far but in the kayak maybe we can have some more luck on that some other kayakers out there like I said, it's a beautiful day. We're on the river here, right in the city. So I'm gonna put this away for a little bit, grab the paddle and my life vest, and we'll head on out. This is the first time I uh, brought out the kayak this, this year, this summer. This is the uh, Lifetime Teton, or Tutton, from Dick Sporting Goods before all the uh, COVID and inflation. It was under 300 bucks to sit on top. My very first kayak. So I uh, didn't want to spend like $1,200 on a kayak if I didn't like kayak. But I love this one. Put a bunch of uh, cleats on there, ankle, uh, ankle, yeah. Anchor trolley. There's an island down the river not too far. I want to scope that out for a potential stealth camp if there's no signs on there. I also want to stealth camp over on this little island here right in the city. That's where we're going right now for a minute. Here is the island in the city. A lot of geese come up here. So there's some goose poop. Um, people sometimes come here, but I'd like to do a stealth camp in here. Someone's got an old carpet there. I definitely, there's an old chair. That's been here for a couple of years. Someone left their trash. I don't have any room on my kayak for that or I would have taken it. Might come back, empty out the car, empty out the kayak into the car and paddle back, maybe grab some of that stuff. Old fire, that fireplace was there for a couple of years. So, I think some, uh, it's an island so there can't be too many animals just beavers and geese but uh, it'd be a great stealth camp spot but I don't know why it's all matted down the weeds could be uh, some animals or something I don't think there's it's a small island it's just like a, a, a rock a rock levee with trees on it coming from the dam but it's beautiful definitely a few trees for a hammock spots for a tent And the only way to get here is by boat, canoe, kayak, stuff like that. 
and right here there's no houses over there except for a treatment plant over there so it'd be pretty secluded I might do that this summer all right let's go do some fishing hole over here instead of hunker down I'm gonna anchor down in this hole last time I was on the kayak. Little shallow reef right here. Ah uh, yes, right here. This is the hole. Of this river are shallow. Right here, it's about a foot. And that drops way down. Let me just anchor here. Just a slight breeze blow this kayak downstream. It's not in the exact spot I wanted, but Pretty big. What is that? Oh, 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 gotta get the net. What is this? It's a channel cat. Are you kidding me? It's a catfish. How is a catfish getting a topwater plug? Holy moly. Alrighty. Where's that net? Jesus. You guys gotta see this. Bob's.
Look at that. Wow. Beautiful. Alrighty. There he goes. There he goes. Holy moly. Should have had these out, but I wasn't expecting. I wasn't expecting that. See, this little plug here for bass. I guess they like these. Oh, that was awesome. See, I love this. Uh, I love this kayak because it's not. It's it's really stable for my liking. I had the backpack under the bungee so I couldn't get it unzipped. So just in case I tip, everything is leashed. All right, yeah, I got bug spray just in case if I want to. Went to the shore some uh, suntan lotion, air horn, just in case for an emergency. Huh. Should we try that again? The wind's nice. Oh, got weeds. It's in the weed bed. Vegetation. Oh, it's a nice channel cat. It wasn't a bullhead, eh? Unless it was a bullhead, it was darker and grayer. Kind of catfish, bullhead species. Oh, the anchor's moving. The wind's moving my anchor. Ah, I moved over. Oh, oh, something. Oh, I got a little guy. <laughs> I got a little guy. Yeah, I got a little guy. Yeah. Come on. Got a little guy here. Got a little guy. Alright. Well, he's in an awkward spot for the hook. I don't want to get hooked. There we go. Good. Hello, little guy. There he goes. Alright, let's reposition the kayak. Because for some reason, I forgot that that three pound anchor. Doesn't uh, hold us very well the best luck I've had uh, since ice fishing. Sorry if the cameras are uh, not angled properly. Forgot some of my tripod mounts for the kayak. Gonna have a heck of a time editing with these two cameras and all the angles. I wonder if we should try another spot. This is that this is the nice hole I was talking about all along. Backwards.
Yeah, other than that little little bass, that uh, river monster probably scared everything off for a little bit right in this hole. Still beautiful today. Yeah, I'm gonna paddle up there to another spot. Let's try over here. This is another deep hole. It's also uh, mid-afternoon and it's hot, so obviously fishing is the best best time is to go in the early morning and late evening, not mid-afternoon. So you know what? I think we're going to go and paddle up around the island. My arm's a little tired from that, uh, that channel cat. So what do you say we just go paddling around for a little bit? Sometimes it's just relaxing to just slowly paddle around. Gotta stay hydrated. Should have brought some lunch with me. Oh, I got something. <laughs> I got lunch already. That's a little guy. It's a little guy. Come on. Little rock bass. Plugs almost as big as as big as him. I hear a couple frogs over there. Gotta love nature. Nature in the city. You'd be surprised what kind of nature is in cities. It's still mid-afternoon. 
should have waited until the evening, but it's still, still nice to get out. Oh, there's a baby gar. Yeah, around here when it's hot and the sun's out, they're in deeper shaded water. Not feeding time yet. Well, I'm gonna do a little more fishing, and if anything exciting happens, I'll let you know. I don't know if you'd be able to see it, but it drops off. There's a, little, there's a smallmouth bass right there. Well, I caught a few more smallmouth bass, a couple largemouth bass, but uh, nothing too exciting. So, I think we'll uh, paddle back to the boat launch. It's about time to go home and get some dinner. Well, I want to thank everybody for joining me on Simple Outdoors. This has been a great adventure. Very relaxing. Caught a few fish. Uh, overall, I think it was a successful trip. So thanks for joining me on Simple Outdoors, and I'll catch you on the next one. Bye, everybody. Upper plugs, I forgot they were in, so the water's collecting up. There we go. Oh, you got a little wet there, too. It's kind of like ice fishing in a small tent. Well, you stealth camping, there's not a lot of room in a small tent or a hammock. This is a little smaller than a hammock. I need some shelves up in here. Oh, 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 Jesus. I Got one. Oh. Got touchdown. Way back.